And good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Sullivan in for Tom Ziska tonight. We begin with the very latest on another inmate death in the Harris County Jail custody, making them the 11th person to die in the facility this year. Houstonians gathered today to discuss these deadly incidents and what they can do to keep this from happening. Fox 26's Sherman DeSell joins us in the studio now to break down what they discussed. Sherman? Yeah, good evening, Heather. Today was a call to action to stop the deaths at the jail, and the organizer, a mother whose son died in custody last year, is making big efforts to make sure it doesn't happen to someone else. Community members gather at the TSU School of Law to discuss how to protect their loved ones from becoming a statistic in the criminal justice system, particularly those who face time in the Harris County Jail. In 2023, 11 inmates have died while in custody there. The latest, 25-year-old David Garner, was found unresponsive in his cell August 9th. Garner had been in custody since 2020. Officials say evidence found in his cell indicate the possible presence of narcotics. 27 others died in 2022. One of them was 31-year-old Evan Griffin Lee. But now, um, it's not a silent epidemic. I'm glad that I spoke up now. Griffin Lee's mother joined several families in a lawsuit against the facility calling for thorough investigations and complete reform. On the same day the suit was announced, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez announced the number of deaths this year are down compared to last. He also says there's more funding toward guard salaries, health care, and an implementation of a body-worn camera program inside. She says it'll take more than litigation to raise awareness and partnered with TSU to host the community forum. I think there's a lack of knowledge, and I think there is actually a uh, call to action for us as communities to spread that information and to be resources to other community members and to uh, do our part. Besides interacting with elected officials, there are things that we can do to help each other. Leaders at the school say it's incredibly important to know your legal rights as a free citizen or an incarcerated one. Mental health was also a focal point in the discussion as many inmates like Lee were battling with different diagnosis at the time of their death. Families say their loved ones lacked the proper care in custody and should have been separated from violent criminals. Advocates say there has to be a bigger spotlight on the problem. There's so many solutions out there, but no one knows about it. Or no one's coming together to make it uh, front and center, right? You know, we're doing something over here, you're doing something over there, and we ain't doing nothing together. And we want to try and have some type of change of policy and procedures and standards in the Texas jail system and also resources to families for these type of issues. Griffin and other families addressed the commissioner's court about these issues just on Tuesday. A representative from that office attended today's meeting as well as State Representative Ron Reynolds and a county public defender's office staff member. More forums are being planned for the community in the coming weeks. Heather.